Hello, my soccer universe. Um, I just realized when I finished the video that this is my 500th video since starting just ahead of last year's World Cup. And that's a big milestone. And I'm happy that it's this video that's the 500th one. Uh, still in Liverpool gear, but yeah, of course, uh, it's very much. It was a Liverpool weekend, and you know, uh, today. You heard all about it in my video, which actually got quite some good reaction, I have to say. Uh, although I mostly took this as personal therapy for me because I was about to get nightmares yesterday. Let's do a roundup for the leagues. And I'm not going to start uh, in England this time around. I'm going by the actual UEFA ranking, which means we start in Spain first. Um, Let's look at the results and now in reverse order. I yesterday I did it in chronological order, but I think it's better to look at it in reverse order because that's how you see it now on the screen. Thank you to um, soccer standings. Um, Valencia beat yesterday evening Levante 3 1, and then we had the, uh, yesterday's games with was Girona via Real uh, 1 0 for Girona, Real Sociedad Eba 1 1, Bilbao against Vai Raya Vaicano 3 2. That uh, was probably a pretty that, that, that was a pretty good game. Let me see. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of stuff happening, but it was uh, 1 1. Uh, at half, and then uh, Bilbao uh, gets uh, two successive goals before pulling more back. Very similar to the Seville derby. Uh, and also Valladolid against Getafe 2-2. And then we had the Seville derby, uh, Seville Betis 3-2. Uh, when I saw the highlights, Betis had many chances. Um, maybe the highlights were very selective, but I gotta say, that was a lucky win for Sevilla. Uh, Betis really uh, should have gotten more out, out of this. Um, it was well within the possibilities. Um, Atletico Madrid beat Celta 2-0, um, which we'll see will have some impact on Celta. Will it mean that Atletico has a chance of winning the title? Probably not, because uh, despite Huesca gaining a point against Barcelona at home, Barcelona didn't play a full squad, they were not interested in that game. So yeah, uh, that uh, they can afford letting it go a little bit. And then Espanyol Alaves 2-1, um, also kind of a biggish win for Espanyol, you know, given their form. Alaves is dropping off, which means no standings. And we are first looking at the standings and then I'm going to really look at 538, the probabilities, and I'll put them up there as well. Uh, we still have the game between uh, Leganes and um, Real Madrid coming up uh, tonight. So um, have to add that in mind, although it will not change a whole lot except when we come to the bottom of the table. Uh, top of the table, Barcelona 74 points, Atletico Madrid 65 points. It is still 9 points. Real Madrid at the moment 60 points could go to 63 if they win, so they will be again be within two points of Atletico Madrid. Uh, we know that those three are going to the Champions League. Sevilla 52, Getafe 51. Um, currently, um, they are fighting for the last Champions League spot, as is Valencia, who is still in there. And I still have a feeling, I mean, Valencia had, had a bad result, um, not uh, this week, but last week. Um, but I still think they are in there. I think Valencia is the team that I, th I, I think is the most dangerous of those. Bilbao currently on the seventh spot. So um, they might also get into Europa League with 46 points. Alaves has 45. They're, they had a really, really good uh, campaign, but it's kind of fizzling out a little bit. Betis 43 and Real Sociedad 41 round out the top half which actually Leganes could break into. Leganes is at the moment in 13th, so we have uh, Espanol at 11 with 41, Eibar uh, at 12 with 40, Leganes sits with 40. Should they win against the Real Madrid, which is not very likely, they might actually go as high as Betis, uh, the ninth spot. Uh, yeah, they probably would do that. So, um, you see, the impact is more for Leganes, but the game in itself, I mean, Le Leganes is, is a... Is it a southern, a southern suburb of Madrid? Um, it's not much going uh, gonna change because Leganes is not pushing for a European spot for sure. 
uh, Girona. And here we go now in the relegation zone. The Spanish relegation battle is probably the most exciting uh, in this uh, this year. We have Girona 34. That's more or less where it starts. Villarreal 33. Levante 33. Celta Vigo 32. Valladolid 31. Rayo 27. Huesca 25. Let's look at the probabilities by 538. The top pro probabilities are probably not that interesting. We know that Barcelona is more than 99% uh, winning La Liga, already qualified for the Champions League. Atletico and Real Madrid are also safe for this last spot in the Champions League. Sevilla at the moment is given 55%, uh, Getafe 22%, Valencia 21%, Bilbao 2%, everyone else not really in there. Um, you know. Um, I personally think Valencia could cool get it, but of course Sevilla has the much better um, position at the moment with uh, being three points ahead. But I don't trust Sevilla this season. Uh, they will deserve it. I mean, they played great soccer, but I'm not sure if they will get in there. And now if you look at the bottom half, and uh, the table that is shown here uh, is basically what 538 thinks how the season will end. And if you look at the relegation battle... Um, Uesca 93% doesn't look good, Rayo 80% doesn't look good, but then it's really Girona 12% is the least likely, Villarreal 13%, Levante 90%, Celta Vigo 35%, Valladolid 48%. It's very close, I mean all these teams are in, you know, um, Girona only has a 3 point cushion and that can quickly be gone. Um, there's a lot to play for, there really is a lot to play for. In La Liga so um, I would think that it will end the way it stands now but um, Celta looks shaky although they have had a good run now um, and I'm not so sure if Levante is Levante uh, is sometimes looking safe they're not not again I think those are the two that are kind of a little bit uh, more likely to go in there um, Valladolid it remains to be seen Let's go to the Premier League, where we also had quite a few uh, interesting results. Uh, I mean, I talked about it. Today we have an evening game between uh, Watford and Arsenal today, um, which can have for sure top uh, four implications. But most importantly, let's look at the results. We had the big one, Liverpool-Chelsea 2-0. City before that beat uh, Crystal Palace 3-1, meaning the top two teams are still going strong. It's unbelievable, this uh, championship race. Uh, the day before, we had um, United beating West Ham kind of luckily with two penalties, 2-1. Um, when people are saying the Manchester derby might be the big trip up for City, I don't see it any anymore. United, since... They won in Paris in a way it really doesn't look that good, 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 good anymore. United is in a bit in turmoil. And uh, some of it is fair fabricated. I mean, I'm looking at you, Pogba, with your Real Madrid comments. Brighton, Bournemouth, nil 5. That, that was a crazy, crazy game uh, in itself. Burnley, Cardiff, 2 nil. Southampton, Wolves, 3 1. That's a big win for Southampton, who kind of look somewhat is safe. safe. Fulham, now that they're relegated, can win against Everton 2-0, uh, basically taking any Europa League hopes from Everton. Tottenham Huddersfield 4-0, was to be expected, but you know, uh, scoring 4 without Kane, that should give you some confidence. And uh, on Friday, Newcastle beat Leicester 1-0, uh, which also bodes well for Newcastle. Let's quickly see uh, the standings we have at the moment. Again, with a game more, Liverpool 85. Manchester City 83, Tottenham is also game in hand with 67, Chelsea is 34 has 66, Manchester United 64, Arsenal has 32 points. They, they have the least uh, amount of games here in the top six, so uh, they could easily go in third place. If they win today, they at least will go ahead of Chelsea, so in, in the top four spot again, which... Um, yeah, they would be expected to, to, to do so, but you know, it's I think it's away from home, so you never know about Arsenal. We know that the top six are the top six. Everyone else will have a hard time breaking in. Leicester 47, Wolves 47, Everton 46, Watford 46. That's the top half. Watford, if they win against Ar Arsenal, they could go 49, it would be best of the rest. Uh, draw will not do that for them, because Leicester is just slightly better. Uh, 
West Ham 42, Bournemouth 41, Crystal Palace 39, Burnley 39, Newcastle 38, Southampton 36, Brighton 33. I wanna say all of those look kind of safe because it is already five points to Cardiff. I think Cardiff will be the one that goes out. Um, Fulham and Huddersfield are already relegated. So let's quickly see the chances. for To win the league, it's a 52-48 towards Manchester City. It's super tight and at the moment they're even predicting, due to the slightly easier run in for Liverpool, that they will finish level on points and it's down to goal differential. It's that crazy. Tottenham, 82% chance to make it to the Champions League. Arsenal, 57%. Chelsea, 40%. Manchester United, 21%. You gotta probably look at Tottenham and Arsenal. Uh, Chelsea and United probably will play in the Europa League. Um, we know Watford could go in uh, via the FA Cup. Remains to be seen. Let's look re relegation. As I said, uh, Southampton, Newcastle, Burnley, all these teams look kind of safe. It's more or less between Brighton and Card Cardiff City and Cardiff looks much worse. And... Uh, when you think about it, they had the big drama with Emiliano Sala, and it just took a turn forward for the worst. So Cardiff probably will be the third relegated team. Let's go to the next league, Italy, Serie A. I'm only going to do the top five today. Um, where we had the following results. We had, I mean, for me, there was a very huge result, but we have to see uh, also how it will go this evening, because we have another Monday night game between Atalanta and Empoli, I expect nothing else but an Atalanta win, which will make things uh, very tight at the top again. Uh, let's see, in reverse order, Frosinone loses at home to Inter 3-1, kind of expected. Uh, Napoli uh, wins away to Kiev 3-1, so Juve is not yet champions. They are de facto, but not... Uh, certain. Sassolo, Parma, nil, nil. Parma is kind of so-and-so as of late. Sampdoria uh, against Genoa, the Genoa derby 2-0. Bologna Fiorenti uh, gets a draw also at Fiorentina. Bad rain in this match. Torino, Calgary, 1-1. One, one. Two reds for Calgary and I think one for Torino. That must have been a pretty rough game. Then in the evening, the big result for me, Milan beating Lazio 1-0. Roma beating Udine 1-0, uh, which kept the pressure up on Milan. And Spal beating Juve was probably the big result. Um, where everyone expected that Juventus is going to fix the championship. They didn't. But they're still very comfy ahead in the league. 84 points, Napoli 67, Inter 60. Those are pretty safe in the Champions League. Then... The battle for a spot four, and I'm sorry to say we are again in the battle of uh, spot four. Milan 55, Roma 54, Atalanta 52, Torino 50, Lazio 49. Lazio has has a game in hand. I I actually read more Lazio 52. Atalanta with a win can get to Milan. Due to uh, dire, uh, the head to head, Milan would get the tiebreaker. Uh, that's important to note. The Milan has the tiebreaker over Atalanta, but that's the slimmest of margins. Um, Lazio with 52 could go two behind Roma. It's, it is a really tough battle. And also, note Coppa Italia. We have Milan, Lazio, Atalanta, Fiorentina. So those are all teams that could get their Europa League spot that way, which is probably for Atalanta, Lazio... Uh, and Fiorentina, very interesting for Milan, it's Champions League or bust. Uh, we don't need to shy away from that. Um, Sampdoria, 48, I think is out of it, as is Fiorentina with 40. There, there is a real drop. Bottom half, Sassuolo, 37, Cagliari, 37. Cagliari looks safe-ish. Uh, Esther, Spal and Parma, 35. I would even say Genoa, 34. Udine is the one. If they wouldn't have the game in hand against Lazio, this would look better. 32. Bologna 31, Empoli with a game in hand, but that's the one against Atalanta. 28, Frosinone and Kievo are gone. Let's look at pro probabilities. We know that uh, Juve is our champions. More or less, uh, Napoli is as good as uh, certain in the Champions League, in the 93%, also very certain. Milan at the moment has 45% of making into the Champions League, Atalanta 32, Roma 19 and Lazio 8. Their Torino's given a slight chance. Um, 
I think the chances for Milan are that much higher, although they have a lower rating than Atalanta, because Atalanta at this moment has still a game in hand. So um, this might look slightly different tomorrow when we know the result. Relegation battle. Um, slight chance of being relegated for Spal, 3%, Genoa, 4%, Parma, 5%. Udine, 13%, Bologna, 18%, Empoli is the one that doesn't look too good with 59%, Frosinone, 97%, Kievo is as good as relegated, so uh, there you go. Germany, I haven't talked much about Germany uh, during the weekend, I have not seen much, uh, if anything at all, to be honest with you, because, I mean, I saw the results and they were not necessarily to my liking. Um, it's yesterday... Frankfurt losing to Augsburg. They were uh, a man down, so that's actually a huge result for Augsburg. Frankfurt has to a little bit fight for their Champions League spot. Bayern Munich easily wins at Düsseldorf 4-1, takes the lead again. Um, also, Hoffenheim beating Hertha 2-0. You kind of could expect that one. Dortmund scrapes past Mainz 2-1. Freiburg 2-1 uh, again. Uh, Werder against Freiburg 2-1. Stuttgart, Leverkusen, 1-0 uh, for Leverkusen. Stuttgart will have the relegation playoff spot. Leipzig, Wolfsburg, 2-0. Uh, Gladbach wins at Hanover, 1-0. It's basically a win that they needed to get. And Nürnberg, Schalke, that was... I mean, those are teams that have kind of this fan friendship, but uh, that was an iffy duel, 1-1. And as of late, despite all this niceness that should be there, that, uh, that's a actually an iffy game overall. Let's look at the standings quickly. I don't think they have a Monday night game. No, they don't. Um, Bayern 67, Dortmund 66 points. I cannot help but think that Bayern will win the, the Bundesliga. Leipzig 58, Frankfurt 52, Gladbach 51. Uh, maybe there's something for Hoffenheim in there 47, but I don't think so. I think it's between Leipzig, Frankfurt, Gladbach. Two of those will get a Champions League spot. Uh, Hoffenheim 47, Werder 46, Leverkusen 45 and Wolfsburg 45. That's the top half. Bottom half, Düsseldorf, a uh, really a great turnaround at um, 37, Hertha 35. Hertha keeps dropping. They were much higher up at the beginning of, of the season. Mainz 33, Freiburg 32. Mm, yeah, I think this is where I cut it. Augsburg 28 and Schalke 27 look really safe. I mean, Schalke has a horrible uh, season. Stuttgart has the relegation playoff spot relatively safe, three points ahead of Nuremberg. And Nuremberg 18, Hannover 14. I think those two will go down. Let's look at the probabilities for the Bundesliga 90% Bayern, Bayern 10% Dortmund. I mean, that's not a surprise. Champions League spots uh, Bayern, Dortmund, and Leipzig uh, look safe according to thir uh, 538. So it's between Frankfurt 52, Gladbach 27%, Hoffenheim 17%, Leverkusen 5%. I think I uh, I don't think Hoffenheim has much chance to be honest, but they have a pretty good rating there because still from the last season. Relegation battle, it's not that much of a battle. I mean, Augsburg 1%, Schalke 2 percent Stuttgart 33% of being relegated thanks to the playoff. And then Nuremberg 91%, Hannover more or less certainty. So that's that. And then finally let's look at Liga. And Next week, I'm going to do a big uh, look around uh, through European leagues, but I want to keep it short and sweet today. Um, results in league, uh, the big one, Lille PSG 5-1. PSG is just a mess at the moment. Saint-Étienne, Bordeaux 3-0, Rennes 0-0, uh, Montpellier to lose 2-1. So those were yesterday's games. Caen Angers uh, nil one. It means that uh, Caen is now last in the table. Strasbourg Guingamp three three. Guingamp gets, you know, a good results, but it's not enough. It's just to say. Monaco Reims nil nil. Marseille Nîmes two one. Nantes Lyon two one. Dijon Amiens nil nil. Uh, that was already those two were on Friday. We have now PSG playing at Nantes during during the week, where uh, I think a point will be enough to secure the title. Um, let's look at the standings. PSG 81, uh, Lille 64. As I said, it's more or less done deal. Lyon 56, Saint-Étienne 53, Marseille 51, Montpellier 48. 
Oh, last 48 and East 48. I still think it's Saint Etienne and Marseille that will get the Europa League spots. Um, I don't think Mopera and Saint Nice have a chance. Uh, Esther Strasbourg and Nîmes, which rather the top half. Rennes 43. They had the first half of the season killed Rennes. Angers 41, Bordeaux 38. It's it's really tough to see Bordeaux that low. 35 for Toulouse and Nantes 34 also for Nantes. They have not been, it's not too long ago that they have been champions of France. Monaco 32, Amiens 32. And I really think that three in the bottom, and there is a playoff spot for Dijon, but the three in the bottom stay there. Dijon 25, Gagan 24, Count 23. Maybe there's a chance of, uh, you know, there's a battle for this uh, relegation playoff spot that might be... Um, uh, that they might be fighting for. Let's look at pro at probabilities. Uh, winning Liga, uh, we don't need to talk. PSG has done that. Lille is more or less in the Champions League. Lyon has also a good chance at seventy seven percent, but that will only be a qualification spot. Uh, there is a conditional spot, you know, that comes with the Europa League champion. If the Europa League champion qualifies through the league as well, then they are also in the champion in, in the Champions League. Saint Etienne only 17%, Marseille 6%, and everyone else is out of it. And I would agree with that. And as for relegation, Monaco and Amiens, very small chances, 2%, 4% of being relegated. Dijon, 61%, Gagan, 71%, Caron, 83%. There you go. Well, that was my look around the top five leagues. Uh, next week, I really want to look at the top 15 leagues according to the current UEFA ranking. Um, because I think it will be interesting to look into that, where things are standing there, but um, I need a little bit more preparation for that. Um, let me know what you thought, what you think about the leaks at the moment, where things are going. I gave you the projections by 5.38, a little bit of my personal opinion as well. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these or my personal um summaries of the matches that I've seen or about my collection, about these jerseys. Um, there will be more videos coming. I'm working actually on a top 10 video, uh, but I probably wait until we are reach the Champions League final to really unveil that one, but long time out. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.